Talk about Batgirl. Ooh, that's right. Batgirl directors talk about Batgirl once again. It's not the first time that they've talked about Batgirl, but this is, you know, we haven't heard from them in a while. And uh, the insider got a little bit of a interview when it came to both the directors. And they talked about the cancellation of Batgirl. And then, of course, after seeing The Flash... That they're seeing the flash and how they felt right here when it comes to all that. So, Batgirl directors say it was sad to watch the flash after their movie was axed. There's still a feeling of unfinished business. If things worked out the way filmmakers Adil Al RB, RB, and Bilal Falal had planned, their first project with DC and Warner Brothers Batgirl would be available to fans now. But instead, they can only think of what could have been, especially after seeing The Flash. The filmmakers, known simply as Adil and Bilal, spoke to Insider Monday about their upcoming uh, Syrian uh, war drama Rebel, which opens in select theaters Friday. During the interview, they recalled how they felt watching The Flash following Warner Brothers' unprecedented decision to cancel the release of their Batgirl movie last year. We watched it, and we were sad. The Flash. We love director Andy Muschietti and his sister Barbara, who produced the movie. But when we watched it, we felt we could have been part of the whole thing. Well, they would have, because sadly, when it came to the old regime, Walter Hamada, Kaksaka, it was all... Batgirl had to be in a specific location, which was going to be... Remember, last year, The Flash was supposed to come out in November, and then Batgirl was going to show up on Max, HBO Max at the time, in December, because it takes place during Christmas, and it takes place right after The Flash. But after everything got all messed up and everything just changed and what the hell, they got fucked. Decisions to cancel Batgirl was made, of course, by Zaslav, wanted DC movies to become theatrical events. According to the, our movie was very difficult. Our movie was very difficult than The Flash. That has a big fantasy component. Ours was more grounded, more like Tim Burton's Gotham City. Naturally, of course, because you have Michael Keaton in it. The filmmakers are known best for directing the 2020 hit Bad Boys for Life, which I really enjoyed that movie. Explained that back when Batgirl was still scheduled to be released, executives told them it could come out after The Flash. Exactly, a month after The Flash. They said that not being able to showcase how they featured Keaton as Batman in their own movie has been the hardest pill to swallow. Quote right here, I felt like a kid on on set working with Keaton. I totally forgot that I was directing. Yeah, I could only imagine that. Can you imagine that? And Keaton probably had more of a role in this movie? Nah, maybe not. I don't know. They said Keaton, along with the rest of the cast, reached out to them when the news hit that Batgirl would not be released. He was sad, but he also said he had fun. So that's good. I'm glad that Keaton reached out to them. That's great. It's the biggest disappointment of our, of our careers, he said, of the Batgirl experience. As a fanboy, just to be in the presence of Keaton as Batman, that's just a privilege and an honor, but it's a bittersweet feeling. However, the director said they have no ill feelings towards Warner Brothers and would like to make a DC Comics movie one day. I hope they do because they also did the first episode of Miss Marvel and that series was great. And that, that, that fucking, the, the premiere was great. The opener was great. There's still a feeling of unfinished business. Our love for DC, Batman, Batgirl, Gotham City, it's so big that as fans, we can never say no to another project. If we got another chance to be part of it, we do it. We didn't get our day in court. We still want to make our case. Yes. And I hope they do. James Gunn. Hey, Jimmy. You got some talented guys right here. They could probably do something with uh, one of your characters. But yeah, that's what they had to say. 